Hello everyone and welcome to Mountain Lake Journal. I'm Tom Halleck. Two adorable cheetah cubs born just a few months ago here at Park Safari in Hemingford, Quebec have become instant celebrities. Their baby photos and video have gone viral this summer on Facebook. And in just two weeks on September 1st, they will begin meeting visitors here at the zoo for the first time. Mosey and Jelani have already made history. They are the first cheetahs ever born in Quebec. We were very lucky that breathing was successful because it is very difficult with cheetahs to breed them in captivity. The brothers not only beat those odds, only about 16% of cheetahs breed in captivity, but they were also preemies, arriving a week early when their mother suffered complications during her pregnancy. And then after the cubs were delivered by emergency C-section, zookeepers say their mother wouldn't care for them. She did not understand that was her cubs. So Nathalie Santerre and several other zookeepers became their surrogate mothers. The first three weeks of life, they were in an incubator. And then came around the clock feedings. So I just fed them milk uh, every two hours. The first week, they're, they're, they do drink every two hours, so you don't get a lot of sleep, just like a mom. <laughs> and like motherhood, it's been much more than just making sure they're fed. It's all about having them to play around, get them to exercise properly, get them socialized properly. Getting them used to the sights and sounds of living in a zoo. Right now, every day, we're bringing a new toy or something new every single day in their environment, so they get used to all kinds of different... Um, it could be noise, it could be like, like today, the pool is something new, it makes a different noise they're not used to. The brothers also get playtime with a new friend, Kimo, an Australian Shepherd and Great Pyrenees mix who keepers say will ignore the occasional hisses and swats, to become a comforting, trusted companion. The dog will help us just to help us raise them. So they have a better language, an animal language. So it will actually teach the cubs a lot of good behavior <laughs> that it's very hard for humans to teach that, that to the cubs. Being preemies, the cubs have been protected and isolated to try to ensure they're healthy when they will meet the other cheetahs and visitors for the first time and they're gonna be great, a great duo for the future. They'll not only raise awareness about the plight of cheetahs and other endangered animals, but in a few years when they're older, zookeepers hope these brothers will do their part to help the cheetah population. I'm really hoping people are watching and are gonna understand uh, the importance of those two boys because they do have a big job in the future. With so many cheetahs disappearing from their natural habitat in Africa, Santer says it will take cubs like Mosey and Jelani to help breed offspring that can be released into the wild. Steps that are being applauded by many of the zoo's visitors. For me, I don't know anything about cheetahs, so it's exciting to know that there's now a place where people can come to and get an education about these big cats. We are eliminating animals in their habitat at a speed that's never been you know, documented. And if we want to preserve nature and be able to present it to our grandchildren and our great grandchildren, I think this is the way to do it. It is very important. We want the public to know that uh, a lot of animals are getting extinct. Actually, a lot of animals every single day are getting extinct uh, everywhere on the planet. Uh, because of different reasons, is it humankind that has taken uh, more and more space? Uh, is it poaching? Is it hunting? Uh, we want to sensitize the people and, and tell them, well, uh, this is what's happening and it's because of humankind and one of the way to fix certain of those problems, it's what we're doing here at Park Safari.